wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, how much income does a, a dentist, you know, do in the United States? You know, that's definitely, you know, one of the main things that we want to talk to you guys about. And uh, we have great data, you know, on the mean average that general dentists, that specialists are making now in the United States. Uh, we are basing ourselves from data from the national census in the United States plus IRS, you know, uh, uh, information, which basically, you know, cross-references location with income, right? So the mean average of a general dentist in the United States uh, at May of 2018, this is data from 2018, the mean average salary of a general dentist was $183,000 a year. And uh, that's mean average, of course. There are people making a lot more money. I'm a pediatric dentist myself, but we do have a uh, general dentist, you know, in the practice that, the, that I work here in Michigan, and they're making, you know, more than $300,000 a year. So, yes, you do have, you know, exceptions up and down, of course. And, you know, then it, it comes to a level of subjectivity, you know, your own, you know, proficiency, you know, in the dental field. But, uh, Basically, there's a lot of exceptions. And specialists, you know, they make a mean average of $240,000 a year. And that's just mean average again. There are people, made, people making much more than that. You know, in our practice, we have, you know, pediatric dentists reaching four or $500,000 a year. And of course, that's, you know, a pretty great salary for the United States. But we don't want to talk about that. Let's just talk about the mean average. You know, I just want you guys to know that there's exceptions. And, but the mean average is already, you know, pretty comfortable, you know, range of salary for anyone to live basically anywhere in the planet, you know, but definitely the U.S. is a great deal too. One important thing is this, um, the market for dentists here is like this. It is projected every year for all statistics that you see on the Bureau of Labor, of Labor Statistics on the census that they make, that they have um, uh, frequently the market is growing at a faster pace than any other profession for that for mo than all, uh, most of the other professions. So um, there's a about 20% increase uh, projection in the next five years. Um, there is high, uh, the, the, the unemployment rate for um, dentists is about 0.9%, which basically makes me think that if you, if you, if you're a dentist and you're unemployed, it's basically because you don't want to work. Um, um, that the average and the range, like Christian said, of uh, income is from 183 to 240, 250. Um, so just so you have, an, you have an idea, less than 20% of the country make more than $150,000, according to the census of 2014. This is an older census. Um, Less than 1% of the country makes more than $400,000. Household income, this is not individual, great point. This is for a family of usually four, depending on what, how the statistics are run. Um, um, and this is in the richest country of the world. So what this allows you, allow you is to have freedom to do basically what you want. It's not money. I mean, not, we don't want to uh, imply that you're going to get here and in one year you're going to get rich. You're going to do what you want. You're going to buy what you want. It's just freedom for you to grow with your income, grow within your profession. I am very fortunate that I chose dentistry. I love periodon periodontics. I love what I do. I love my specialty. And one of the greatest pleasure that the... Uh, the the income gives to me is this I'm able to go and have and attend the best courses all over the world if I want in periodontics I'm able to apply in the office where I work the most advanced technology and and, and use it and learn and I have the ability of practicing at the highest standards that I can